Welch. So this is going to be a reading for Cancer, August. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, already coming out, guilt eats someone up. If someone's feeling regret, guilty, or ashamed about something. But uh, <laughs> I will be doing an overall for the month of August, love, money, work, health, and spiritual guidance with the tarot. Just getting a few of the real ash to kind of see what messages spirit has for you through this medium. So like, share, subscribe if you haven't already so that we can continue to grow as a collective. And I will not delay anymore. We're going to go ahead and get into your reading. So spoiling should be mutual. I feel like um, there's something where a situation is happening in August where you were wanting to have some kind of reciprocation, um, an equal give and take between you and someone. I don't want you to be out here being too generous if people are being stingy with you. So you will definitely be avoiding opportunist. There's something here with Capricorn. I don't know if that is a person that you're dealing with or this is speaking of you just kind of having some kind of boundaries or something dealing with the 10th house of career but it could be that you need to get your hair down adjust your crown and kind of lean more into your capricorn like energy even though you are cancer capricorn is your literal polar opposite since they are, um, you know, across the way on that axis point astrologically. Uh oh, making a mess per usual. But uh, let's go ahead and get the tarot and see what I can tell you about the overall August for you, Cancer. Your love, your money, work, health. And whatever spirit has to tell you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates. Leave what does not fit. Don't force it. All right, Cancer. I hope you've had a good July. I know some of you um, probably have some good birthdays. So overall, you have judgment. Some kind of awareness, some kind of rays of consciousness, something about you really seeing things for what it is so that you're able to really kind of rise above things in the past where you may have had some kind of error happen where something was wrong or you thought something was wrong. And then you kind of get this wake up call that, hey, um, I don't know, it's like an epiphany and things just kind of start making more sense. Maybe about an ending or something that is coming to full circle here where you are hoping for victory and there's an ending where maybe a karmic cycle of some kind or something that's just kind of changing and it'll never be the same again. So I'm going to cut the deck now and see what's going on with love. Love is uh, the star, so you may be coming into some positive, optimistic, hopeful uh, energy where the worst is over and you can definitely see yourself being kind of the main attraction. I feel like there's some kind of healing that you've done to really make you um, open to being a little bit more vulnerable to, you know, someone else that's equally as appealing as you are to them and vice versa because again, spoiling is mutual. For money, we have the four of pinnacles, so there may be something that you are holding on to that you are maybe needing to release. Maybe you're being a little frugal, conserving. Maybe you're saving up for something here, but I see you kind of, you know, literally holding on to something. Um, definitely relax some and know that money is a form of energy and it's got to be a a flow. Uh, you can't get more if you're, you know, being a little frugal. So always know that it's always more from where that came from and not to carry a, don't, don't let it develop into a scarcity mindset. How about that? 
And so for work, you have the three of pentacles. So it looks like you'll be working with a team here to kind of put forth the effort to uh, build somebody's dream or create somebody's dream. But um, you'll be working with some people here and you'll collectively be cooperating with each other to meet some kind of goal or make something shake here where there may have been um, something that you have to work on as a project. But uh, we'll get more clarity. For your health, Nine of Cups seems like everything is fine here. However you wish to feel healthiest is going your way. Nine of Cups, you're satisfied and pleased, content with how things are going for you as far as your health. Because we know health is wealth. So it's good to see the Nine of Cups there for you. But for Spirit's guidance, you're in the Nine of Swords. Uh... I hope that you're getting some rest. Maybe you are having some sleepless nights. Hopefully it's because you're having a little nocturnal itch and not because you're losing sleep over some loser or something that is making you fear or have worries or anxiety about things that really aren't um, worth your rest. Your rest needs to be prioritized. Let me kind of scoot that there. Get the candle. But yeah, your rest needs to be prioritized and hopefully you are learning to kind of um, get over something and see whatever it is that's happened that has left you kind of like worried. It's a time to heal. Yeah, because we have the four swords here, the bottom of the deck. It's definitely a time for you to not let things that are on your mind keep you from being able to get quality rest because you know it's always quality over quantity and not let anything irritate you to the point where you're in grief and not able to you know do what it is you need to do to relax and feel at peace so i'm going to get a clarity deck here for you cancer but i feel like you definitely need people that are going to be putting in as much effort as you are at work love all that you know and you're really starting to see some things for what it is here with that judgment because maybe some things were kind of hazy and now things are uh, becoming more transparent and lucid you know it's like you can trust whatever it is that you're going to be seeing in august it is the real deal in all areas of your life it's not a facade, whatever is going on and whatever it is that has kind of made you stay up, it's time to lay it down, like in all shape, forms and fashion. So for overall, Clarity is the King of Pentacles. I feel like you will be able to have some kind of comfortable lifestyle here where you're able to provide for yourself and others. Maybe you have some kind of loyal companions or people that you're loyal to that you have to kind of have your back and you're just able to have a sense of security and stability that will be able to last for a long time with the King of Pentacles. You'll be able to handle your own. For, um, yeah, uh, love is looking really good. Whoever, whatever you want, uh, you can have whatever you like. Not a pinnacle. You're looking like the treasure box here. People are looking at you as a treasured possession, somebody that they would love to be around. We have the, the star with the nine of cups coming out again. You're definitely going to be able to, um, have some kind of contentment here where, you can start to experience bliss and also have some kind of, you know, um, prize. Like you're looking like the prize. For money, you have the Queen of Cups. So with this, this uh, Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, I feel like it's you releasing any kind of bad emotions that are associated with having to feel like you uh, don't have enough, I think you're going to start to see that you're going to be provided for and that the universe, God, is going to make sure that your needs are met here. And so you're going to surrender to whatever is going on. And I feel like you're going to make financial choices 
that um, require you to use your intuition and not let unstable emotions make you um, frivolously spending. But I feel like you'll start to kind of get comfortable and be able to feel when it's a good time to spend and when it's time to save. For work, uh, three of swords here. So yeah, there's some people at work that may not be your ideal uh, work companions, but I feel like you're going to heal and there'll be people that are more compatible for you to be partnered with here that won't cause you any kind of painful attachments that make you stressed. I feel like, you know, there's going to be some kind of healing that you do or some kind of healing that occurs in your work environment. If you don't have one, maybe it's with a person that you're supposed to work with as a partner in some kind of way or team player or some kind of group dynamic where um, two people may be causing some problems and the attachments are going to be severed. With your health, we have the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to be working on making sure you are in shape and taking care of yourself, making sure that you maybe start a regimen where you focus on showing up as your healthiest self and making healthier options, really putting in the work to um, kind of maybe heal yourself. Maybe you're like some kind of self healer of some kind, but um, I feel like you're going to be doing some things that really you know, show you what's working for you and what's not. And once you do, like, you'll be satisfied with whatever you come up with this month. I feel like some of you may even be, like, exercising or doing something with your time and energy where, like, you are physically doing stuff to get tangible results so that you are showing up as your healthiest self and highest version of yourself. So the Nine of Swords spirit saying, you know, you have the tower. Whatever was devastating, you know, change is... The only thing that we're guaranteed in this lifetime is the only constant, just like energy. And so with this, the transition you're having is showing that whatever has changed is for the better. Ultimately, this transformation may have been unplanned, but it was divinely timed. It was a divine intervention. Like whatever you thought was good, uh, there's always better. Whatever feels like it's a upset is really just a reset so that something more solid can be put in its place you're in a temperance energy where you need to stay calm act normal you know take things in moderation don't do anything in excess really put your time and energy into healing and getting things in balance so that you can alchemize the blending of opposite energies you know via the sun is the moon there where you have your light and dark self in balance because i feel like there may be some kind of dark night of the soul that it does occur or that you know you're going to be coming out of where i feel like you know the worst is over because you do have the star that shows up in this reading but um you know don't fear change like i, I feel like there's some kind of uncharted area where you're going to have to rebuild some area of your life and there may be some sleep that you lose but ultimately it works out for the best so Hope that's reassuring for you in some kind of way. We'll go ahead and get you some advice, Cancer. So the advice is the magician. Know that you have whatever you need energetically, physically, mentally, emotionally to create whatever reality, to have a portal that opens up for you to really dive in and create something that makes you fulfilled in all areas of your life you are the main character there are people that look up to you there are people that see you as like this magus that's able to transform and transmute everything into your favor and it's like they're saying that you need to you know basically put all of your energy into manifesting whatever it is that you want to see you are someone that is truly magical and gifted. And it's time for you to kind of like start to actually take some kind of action. Queen of Swords, keep your emotions out of things. Be able to use your mind to identify what's good for you, what's not, what's a red flag. 
And again, you know, this is these are head are head over heart decisions that are had here. Give yourself the freedom to cut out people, places, things, uh, vibes that just don't jive well with you. Be a clear communicator whenever you get into this manifesting energy where you're doing the work. So I feel like some of you may be doing some things that are like spiritual work. She has a candle. She has herbs. There's something you're doing to really like heal yourself here. And I don't know if it's like some self-love or whatever, but it's going to pay off for you is what I'm being told. So that you have an opportunity to really like succeed and conquer your fears and really be in the sense of wholeness where you can create whatever it is you want. Expect the unexpected for yourself and get ready to be excited and to come out of any kind of stagnancy, any kind of um, delays that you felt like you've been having. Things This month in August is the month where you really kind of like get yourself out of any yokes. Like you're going to be your own savior along with, you know, the most high energies, but be ready for some big changes where you kind of really transform. So let's get some zodiacs to see what's showing up in your energy. So we have Scorpio showing up for you. Scorpio. We also have Taurus. Who else for Cancer? And Gemini. So Scorpio, Taurus, and Gemini for Cancer. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, come back. I will be doing more reading throughout the month for the channel. And again, I appreciate you guys for coming through, especially if you stuck it out this long. I will be sending you plenty of love and blessings for August. And until next time, guys, love and peace your way.